And welcome back. Um, we just did a review on some of these lights here. And um, people were asking, how do you connect multiple? How do you do it? Um, some people are, are becoming their own handyman people. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this stuff. It's pretty pretty easy. It's actually kind of fun, like, doing this stuff. Now, um, if you are not an electrician, I have to say this, um, you should hire an electrician to do this. If you have no idea what you're doing, definitely get somebody to set up these lights because we are dealing with electricity. Now, if you're doing this on your own, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. It's very, very simple, and it's not that hard. Step one, kill the power in the house. Just do it. Some people are like, I know what I'm doing. I would, no, kill the power. I don't care if the switch is off. Just kill the power. Now, I have my little setup right here already. Um, I have everything here where it is good. Um, just have to go through a couple steps here before we actually connect a second one. So I do have a, the first one connected. Um, here's the box. This is the module that you're going to get for these Lemary light bulbs. Um, and everything is right here. You get you get all this stuff here already set up for you. Now, when it comes to electricity, it's pretty simple when it comes to like like most of these wires. You just you just connect them to they're all color coordinated, black to black, white to white, ground to ground. Um, if you're not sure what black is or white is or anything like that, they have little indicators here on the side. And this will tell you exactly what is hot, what is what is a positive, what is a negative, and obviously this one's your ground. So very simple. They even give you the little grommets here to hook it up. And yeah, so the one thing you want to be sure about is this guy right here. When you pop it off, um, you're going to have a live wire that comes across. So with these wires... This is where they're going to go through. Now, before you do anything like that, I'm going to bring you guys here my other camera. That way you guys could see it. Okay, so here's my bottom camera. And the biggest thing that you want is this piece right here. This is like a plastic piece that protects um, the wire itself. Um, and you could get these at Home Depot. You could probably get these on Amazon. It's like it's just a wire. It's a it's a plastic circle that you just pop it in, and that's it. It's very very simple and easy. And the reason for that is because these wires, when they're going through um, those holes right there, this piece right here will chew on this wire up, and you don't want it to splice it. And then now you have a exposed hot wire hanging out on on the metal piece like this so obviously they have the rubber things here but yeah and then when you put it in it just just put it in there and the, the thing will grab it um so make sure it's very important you guys do have something like that now when it comes to this stuff here again super easy you just want to connect the the here's my ground so that that's where my ground's gonna go I got a black cable and a white cable, and off of this thing, it's exactly what I, what I want to do. I just want to connect everything together, so that's what we're going to do now. Now, when you do do this, you want to put them together. Make sure I don't have an extra little plastic piece like this, but make sure you do put it in before you do this. You want to slide this in just like this, and you want to slide it in all the way until the 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 yellow part is inside that's exactly how you want to do it and what i'll do is it'll, it will grab it now you want to separate the wires pretty simple um, i'm going to start here with the black and all i'm going to do is line them up just like this i'm going to grab my little grommet here like this or whatever this thing is called and then i'm going to put it push them in together and then start twisting them like that put them together twisting them up and you should be good to go. Now, if for whatever reason this comes out, untwist this thing back up again. You want to be sure that these things are right at the, 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 the tip right there together. And then try it again. There you go. Twist it up. And yeah, looks like we're good. Looks like we're, we're, we're plugged in. Same thing with the white one. Same thing with the ground. Go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that we've connected all of them like this, very simple you just want to push everything down inside here in the box and then you want to close the box up just like that now the other side of the wire 
Um, we already have one connected over here. So what you want to do is you want to grab your other box. This one already has a light bulb. This one was the one that we just connected. And the end of this thing, you want to put them in where these guys are at. So match the color. And this is kind of, I know you, you like the, the term is called, you want to daisy chain them together. And daisy chaining is like something that people don't do. You don't daisy chain um, power supplies with each other. No, with electricity, though, it's a little bit different. You want to go and follow the wires all the way to the number or to the, the colors. And that, that way it passes the power from one to the next. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now, keep in mind when you are setting this up, some of these... Like this one that 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 it comes with too small go to home depot get ones that have a little bit of a bigger hole and you could see i know it's going to be kind of hard for me to show you guys this right now but you can kind of see the difference between the two where one is definitely bigger than the other one so we're gonna to have to switch these ones to the to the yellow one and then hook them all up again okay so i have everything set up now I'll show you guys here the bottom camera. Um, everything is pretty much ready to go. I have both lights there. I have one here exposed. That way you guys can see how the setup was. And then I have the other box here closed up. That's the proper way of doing it. Um, there we go. <laughs> we got both lights on. That one still needs to be synced. Um, but if you guys are, are, are looking for of the video of how to sync this thing, that yeah then you guys you guys could just look it up but that that's pretty much how you daisy or i call it daisy chaining I'm, i don't know if that's the proper term um you just follow one from one box to the next now if you're mult if you're gonna do another one then what you do is with with the the one that you just connected you're gonna need another cord coming from here out to the next one so it's gonna be uh two sets of cords coming in through um through the one module so one one cord comes in this way one cord comes in this way it connects to the module inside with those cords make sure that you're using the yellow ones instead of these little orange ones um and then you just keep keep going all the way around to all the lights until you get to your final light bulb so because this is my final light bulb right here it's i stop right there and i'm good to go now if i was going from here to a different switch then that will go to a different switch um, but it's only one switch that we have the two lights and that's pretty much it now the cool thing about these things is um when you connect them you have this little cable here all you do is just pull it off and that's it disconnect it and you're done um if you want the power back on, then you just plug it in and then you are set. Now, the biggest thing I recommend when you are plugging these things off and on, as always, make sure you guys do turn off that power, the switch. So that way you guys are, are, are good. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. This is pretty simple, pretty easy to do. It was very fast. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you guys like this type of stuff, um, smash that thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Um, if you guys are, are a new subscriber, consider subscribing. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. With all that being said, you guys take care, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next one.